Eagle Dynamics don't implement this, someone else will do it. I'm talking about a competitive matchmaking system inside DCS. I did a video a few months back where I briefly mentioned DCS matchmaking and there were some, let's call it, passionate answers. Now I love passion, so feel free to get stuck in. So what am I talking about? I'm talking about a competitive matchmaking system inside DCS. And if DCS don't implement this, then I think someone else will. You've got NOR or Trackwell Scan, TWS. So let's talk about what it might look like. I envision a dogfight mode right on the main menu where you can be loaded up either one-on-one -on -one or two-on-two, head-to-head into a merge situation and as you pass the enemy, the green light is lit and you go at it. And maybe we restrict it to sidewinders and guns and start off with just a few of the good dogfighting jets like the F-16, the Su-27, MiG-29 or an F-18. Would you even have it so that if it was an F-16 fight then everyone was in an F-16, almost like a military training exercise. Look, the subject of jets to include is a topic all on its own. Let me know what you think in the comments. If a dogfight mode was a thing, what jets or even piston aircraft would you pick to be part of it? The next thing is a matter of time. Now for this sort of flight mode, dogfight mode, I reckon we would have a match last between Gotta be somewhere between 5 and 10 minutes max. Maybe there's also a restriction on fuel, which increases the complexity and management of your current situation within any dogfight. Or could we have no timer and just a just a fuel restriction? Now, this brings me on to my next point. How would we manage matches that don't end up in kills? Well, I reckon you could make this so that a no-kills match looks at the amount of weapons fired, and if that's still equal, then falls onto the amount of fuel burned. I mean, do you think that would work? Or, like I said before, having no timer and just a, a really harsh fuel restriction. So the first one to fall out of the sky loses. Do we even let players pick the amount of fuel and weapons to carry into a fight? And that's very much part of a, a tactical side. And look, there's lots to think about here. So the next important thing for me would be how do we track progress? How do you find out exactly how good you are in the air? There would have to be some sort of license, some sort of um, like a license with sub parts to it to track your progress. This way you get to see where you fall in terms of your dogfighting abilities against others. And after a little bit of time and more player uptake, the system would start to match you with similar skilled players as you work your way up and gain experience. Now, the next big question is, and it's probably, it's probably the biggest question, would you pay for it? Things like this can't be free. There's always gonna be a cost if you wanna do it right. Would you be prepared to pay a monthly fee to have access to this kind of mode? Kind of in a similar way that iRacing works. Let's throw a number out there. I mean, would you, would you be, would you pay five US dollars a month for an always on dogfight mode with progression tracking, availability of tournaments, and looking at the bigger picture, this could even open up the door for more accessible DCS esports competitions. I mean, would you, would you pay money for that? Is five dollars a month reasonable? Now, there are some people that won't like this. And I get it. I really do. I get it. I'm not saying that we should remove any of the existing features, the online servers or anything about the game as it stands. I only want to add this option. Now don't be shy. Let me know what you think. I think deep down some DCS simmers may be worried that a lot of players that currently play multiplayer right now would cross over and spend most of the time in dogfight mode. And I get it, but if that were the case, does that not show that it's the right move all along? I just think that DCS right now, well, there's no real easy way to fly in a competitive nature and track your progress. And there's no real competition out there as far as other sims. They, they really are kind of standing on their own here at the moment. If Eagle Dynamics 
don't, um, if ego dynamics don't implement this, someone else will do it. And I think people will flock to it. And whoever does it first and does it well, they're gonna get the player base. I might be wrong, maybe I'm barking up the wrong tree. Let me know what you think, as I think competitive matchmaking is a must to bring new players and expand the scope of the sim. I know I'd certainly be on there much more if I knew I could just hop into a dogfight quite quickly and get my DCS fix.